It is a mess. Oh my god. What are you going to do? I'm oh, oh. so dumb. <laughs> you really are seeing how much of a hoarder I am. And it's not okay. Chin pad. And an ankle protector from when I used to play football. I stopped playing football in year nine. <laughs> everyone welcome back or to my channel i have a decluttering video today because i have a bed waiting for me downstairs we're gonna put it up tomorrow morning but i need to sort out underneath my bed i use it as storage and i have no idea what is under there i'm actually quite excited to see what's underneath there there's probably gonna be a lot of rubbish under there not as in like rubbish like wrappers and stuff but like rubbish i don't even know what's under there but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video let's get into sorting out underneath this bed let's get started well these just my ankle weights that I just keep there, which I have not used in forever. But we won't talk about that. Shin pad and an ankle protector from when I used to play football. I stopped playing football in year nine. This is my box full of stuff for when I move out, which I actually have more stuff that needs to go under my bed for when I move out. Obviously this is all stuff that I'm keeping because it's stuff that I've bought for moving out and stuff like that which god knows when that will be but hey ho we're speaking into existence this i need to sort through because it's full of old stuff so like this is when i played cricket at school old football team and like my old cheer uniform in here and my school polo top that i got signed but i feel like i could definitely give just some of the stuff in here because there's another shin pad in here. But some of the stuff, I don't know, I even have my primary school football kit. <laughs> That's a bit much, isn't it? You really are seeing how much of a hoarder I am, and it's not okay. I've just found a hat to go with that. And I've just found my old team football kit. This here is a box full of just random stuff that we're gonna sort through. This is my old photography book. I need this, do I wanna keep this? I just can't bring myself to get rid of things like this. This one I'm not getting rid of. I'll show you why, because, okay. It's me. I'm in the Just To Move annual. So this one, ow, this one, it's never going anywhere. I'm keeping it forever. This one's actually signed by Justin Bieber. It's a little bit smudged, can you see that? Pull my logo like that. This one can go, I don't need to. We go again with the fangirl and this is the 1d official book I'm pretty sure one of these is signed i knew it was signed so obviously i'm gonna keep that there is hair everywhere in here from this of from there was i found this in there it's like bang on the door greedy chick book um the cases all of these old birthday cards i'm getting rid of some viva book that painting book um and like this pencil case these pens and stuff like some really old notebook it doesn't look like a lot but it's actually a lot now gone from that so that's good and also getting rid of this which i made at uni i was going to use it again because i wanted to redo the look but it's just so ruined now and the hair is just shedding everywhere that it's just kind of gross and like all the hairspray is coming off of it like all the dry hairspray so that is going in the bin i've just found a super old suitcase from when i was younger I literally have no idea what's in it. The one walking through your dough. No conversation about the waiting from last week. We both leave sweating like this is all old teddies. Oh my god, look. I literally remember this from when I was younger. These are absolutely terrifying. Yeah, so you wanna roll with me and that's good. If you wanna start approaching me with that. I might be able to fit all these teddies in that other thing and get rid of this suitcase because to be honest, I don't need this suitcase. And look, first glance, first dance had a man hooked by the shower in the morning, how a man cooked. Hey, hey. I feel your rhythm inside. This is when I wanted to live my best Tumblr girl life. I wanted to be a Tumblr girl. What's a Tumblr girl? I said to Jed that I can learn to ride it in the summer. But I need to get um, elbow pads and knee pads. Oh, me. Would I like to see it on your body? You feel my rhythm inside of you. Oh, I never knew. Made me feel brand new. Took me a while to find her, but now I have to go catch her. Go through any natural disaster. 
investor If that means I can get to you faster Rhythm flows through my body Trying to find me a shotty That bitch that likes to get naughty So hot, call me Fuego Almighty Lil Fuego as heat as can be Look, no, I'm not interested <laughs> Just put the bloody things away You want me to help you Too sorrow, keep smiling, lots of love Sam, I don't know who this is Sam. <laughs> Keep it, put it up there because you might suddenly come to you. Put it under no, the bed. No, I don't know who it is. Oh my god. What are you going to do? Oh my god, it's so dusty. <laughs> it's so god. dusty. Oh my god, it's so yeah. dusty. Yeah, Underneath my bed has completely been sorted out. Obviously, I'm not going to hoover it now because it will just hoover it when we take it down tomorrow. But I came across these and oh my goodness, this is just such a throwback. So. Um, me and my sister and my friend actually missed the day of school to go to the premiere so we could be like at the front and get to the front of the barriers. And my mum actually called in sick for me and my sister and the next day I'm from the front of the metro. So for anyone who doesn't know the metro is basically a newspaper that they have in every single station in London and people pick them up and read them on their way to work. On the front of the metro the next day was a paparazzi picture of Justin with me and my sister right there. Bang on the picture in the background could clearly see who we were went into school and i remember the head teacher saying to me something about me being ill the day before and then he said that he'd seen me on the newspaper like i remember my textiles teacher was like oh my god sorry i've seen you on the newspaper and like brought it into the class and literally I remember going home and telling my mum and we like we will never live that down i just can't bring myself to get rid of them i just really can't oh, i feel your rhythm inside of me what i like to see on your body you feel my rhythm inside of you oh i never knew made me feel brand new don't know if you're quite my type but you know that i'll give it a try i just know this feels right right cause all my friends won't be about you but you know that i will see it through cause i feel you're here tonight I'm getting rid of this, this, that water bottle, um, like all this stuff out of that football bag, all some cushions and stuff. This can go in there. This is so much rubbish, like I don't even know why it was underneath there. And then these two little teddies as well. Oh, and this little captain armband. So that's the first time I've done that in, you can tell, God knows how many years. Um, but it was needed. There was a lot of rubbish in there. A lot of that stuff, like, in that bigger one was, like, sen had, had sentimental value. Quite a big chunk of it was old cards from, like, my fourth birthday and my fifth birthday from, like, my nan and granddad who aren't here anymore and then, like, my other nana who's not here anymore. And then, obviously, like, my signed Justin Bieber book, my signed One Direction book, which I'm not getting rid of. Um, so that was pretty much what was in that bigger box and then in the smaller box I keep all like my Christmas stuff but now it's time to tackle this um as you can see it is a mess that's not mine I'm gonna sort for it so I can hang some stuff up in here you see her walking down the boulevard she got the posture of a superstar she looks so fly in those Gucci slides yeah yeah I wonder what so my camera died and it's actually like half seven so basically what i did in here is i just repacked it and then put these jackets in here but i'll just quickly talk you through this so these are my shoes that i don't have space for this is all my mum's stuff and in this bag and all of this stuff here this bag's full of clothes as well it's stuff that i'm gonna put on depop either thursday or friday i'm gonna spend some time just getting that all onto depop or ebay or whatever that's basically what i'm using it as for now just basically some storage but i thought i might as well just make it a little bit neater in there so i can fit some other stuff so there's more space in my wardrobe still a lot of sorting out in this room to do but i'm just going to do little bits that was like a big job to be fair that took me quite long i started it like three it took longer than i anticipated it would and then my mini bags i actually hang up in that wardrobe and they're so they just take up a lot of space because they're it's quite chunky yeah. as well. yeah, that's all i'm going to do for now i didn't really sort it out but it was just something on my to-do list that i needed to get done i normally sort my clothes out when i get all my summer ones out and then put all my winter ones away so that will probably be in like a few months if i do one of those i hope you guys enjoyed this video seeing all the weird stuff that i had under my bed i can't believe i even still had that stuff that just shows how long i have not 
gone through any of that stuff under there for it just feels so good to get that all done and now i'm not going to be wasting my time putting stuff in there that didn't need to go like putting stuff under my new bed that didn't need to go in there i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up my back is literally killing now i cannot wait to get into bed thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye Thank you.